Hey guys, XOOX here, and today I want to bring you a video that is somewhat unlike what I'm used to or comfortable doing. So bear over with me. You might already have seen the trailer for Lone Games' upcoming title, Light No Fire. It was presented during the 2023 Game Awards in December, and it sent a rush through the gaming community as the scope presented was vast and ambitious. For some, it was received with skepticism and cautious curiosity, but for most, myself included, it sparked hope and excitement that Light No Fire could be the game that we've all been waiting for. And Sean Murray has even been quoted saying that what we will call NNF from now on is going to be the first real open world game. And that's a statement that holds promise for those of us who love this genre of crafting and exploration and survival. My personal thrills have for a long time belonged to that type of game. You know, heavy focus on exploration, crafting, building bases, engaging storylines. Uh, storylines that take us through ups and downs as we progress and develop our characters and skills. My big hope is that LNF will bring those aspects together in a balanced and entertaining way. I hope that we will somehow arrive in a, a diverse world that allows us to go long and deep into the depths and uncover the, the secrets that might lie be hidden beneath. Maybe even be able to do it in, in each our own way with individual consequences. But what has this to do with the latest update for No Man's Sky? And uh, why do I think you should care about that in regards to Light No Fire? We all know game development is a, a pretty huge investment and it can turn out to be a crushing gamble, which we have clearly seen over the years and in recent releases. Uh, and let me acknowledge that I'm well aware how No Man's Sky came off not too strong back in the day. Uh, but in my humble opinion, they have over the years more than compensated for that and made uh, NMS a great game, which I still find stunning to load up to this day. And that's why I allow myself to have high hopes. I do honestly think that they've learned from past mistakes. And I think part of that learning also makes me imagine shapes or could shape the way they approach development and testing. So, you know, while you can get great feedback from enlisting a, a specific crowd or select crowd to try out a new game in a closed forum and evaluate on the, that experience, I think another and more rewarding method of testing specific elements or mechanics it would be by employing them on an already published and solid running platform with a huge player base. The general aspect of human behavior is that when we know we're being observed, our actions and reactions change. So we're not actually showing how we truly feel because we know someone is somehow evaluating that experience we're having. And, and therefore it's, it's far more valuable to get feedback about a mechanic or concept by introducing it into a universe where the player feels familiar uh, or at ease, you know, less vigilant and not so focused on nitpicking potential faults and errors. To me, that makes No Man's Sky the perfect training ground for light no fire testing. Not only because it runs stable, but because I think it's obvious that LNF will reuse some of the gameplay we've already seen in No Man's Sky. They can drip parts of mechanics intended for LNF into NMS, and they can roughly gauge how those mechanics will be received once they're part of LNF. So I went back into No Man's Sky to check out what we can learn from Omega. It's clear to me that the update is mainly focused on getting new people to join up. But first of all, it's free. Second of all, the way they ha have arranged the expedition is that you're rewarded a lot of resources and base building ability is relatively fast compared to previously. In case of future assumptions, the biggest change I could spot is that the game is now a lot more MMO focused. You aren't alone on a planet million miles away from other people. You're right there with people around you focused on the same expedition and actually feels a lot more alive. And to me, I think that hints a little bit towards what we can expect to see from LNF. It's not much to go on, I know. But it is enough for me to suggest that LNF will use part of the core play from No Man's Sky. I also believe that No Man's Sky has not reached end of life yet. So there will be coming updates, and I think those updates will also contain elements and mechanics to later be introduced into LNF. And with my mentioned thoughts on what might be going on behind the curtains, along with me, of course, excitingly awaiting the next official news from Hello Games about LNF, I will probably be playing 
NMS a little bit more just to keep tabs on the changes that they're going to make in future updates. So what do you think? Do you agree with my assumptions about these updates? Will you be trying out NMS to see if it makes sense in terms of LNF? And I would love to hear what other games you would suggest the rest of us to go knee deep in while waiting for Light No Fire. Personally, I'm going to have a live stream going for Nightingale for a while, also while still keeping engaged and enshrouded. So yeah, finally, if you found this video interesting, please double like and subscribe, and of course turn on notifications. If it turns out you guys like this form of content from me, I will probably find more time to do this type of content. But for now, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.